Thanks. Yes. Thanks for coming here. A I, pleasure. Yeah. I just saw your co collision panel discussion with some other journalists, and you were talking about the truth that you are trying to establish, and and the trust you are trying to, to uh, bring in into the public. So. Um, What do you think? Uh, how project management can help you with with, with establishing that that truth? Well, there, I, as you know, there, there's a crisis in our of trust in our institutions, um, starting with uh, all forms of government, uh, but also um, uh, the clergy and uh, journalists and Congress and you name it, and people are not trusting people anymore, not trusting that they're being told the truth, um, and I think that. You know, in as much as project management is about establishing a foundation of let's gather the facts, let's see where we are truly, and then let's form a plan that is based on factual right, right. data uh, that we can change whatever we're trying to change. So again, it's a question of, of, of finding the truth and, and then finding the trust yeah. in, in the execution of, this, of what we need to do. That's right. So it's, at PMI, uh, we are trying to establish a profession of project management so that people, uh, whoever wants to do something with a project, can trust in the guys who are doing it for, for, for them. So this is another way how to make ideas into reality. While we have to um, describe the current state uh, with, your, with the help of journalists, because you analyze what's going on, what is the truth, what is the... Uh, um, The honesty that is there, dishonesty, and then from that we built to uh, to become uh, uh, the, to become the profession who can establish the uh, the future, which might be different for 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 them. So this is, I think, the philosophical uh, common ground between journalists and and project managers. Well, I'm sure that's that's the case. I mean, the the, the fact is, then if that's the case, then. The project manager is going to have to tell some truth that the companies or the organizations that they work for might not want to hear, yeah. and that's that's the challenge: is how how do you speak truth to power, right, uh, which right. is really basically what the journalist does. That's yeah. the role of the journalist, and that's why I there's a sense that uh, you know Western democracies, which have basically relied on journalism and and media to expose. The truth, whether whether right. whether it's inconvenient or not, we you know there's a concern that that is going away and will be replaced by people who are just going to espouse fake news, right. the right. wrong facts, because it serves their purpose and they can manipulate the outcome. And a project manager should not be in the business of manipulating; should be in the, in the process of directing where there's only one path, really. Right, right, right. Well, actually, yeah, project leadership is about influencing people in an ethical way, you know, that the people can decide what they what they want to do, preparing the decisions for sponsors, for customers, for, for companies. That's, a, that's the purpose of project management, not really providing uh, some, some dishonest things. Yeah. So, uh, you were talking about, you know, speaking out the, the truth to governments and to powerful people. This requires a certain amount of moral courage, uh, and this is the same for project managers. You know, if I'm a project manager, I have to disclose the real status of where we are going, and and it has to be very uh, um, open to, to, to them what what kind of decisions they that they could make. Right, but so so what? So the work of a journalist uh, is to go and not only find the facts but verify the facts, and so yeah. it seems to me. That the project manager, the first step is to say, okay, what what are this? What is the situation, truthfully? Right, right. right. Um, and and to verify that this is in fact the case, uh, and then present a realistic view of uh, of not only where the organization or whatever project they're on, but how what are the courses of action? Um, you know, a, a lot of a lot of people hit a wall for whatever reason, and because of tradition. And and because they 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 they're, you know reluctant to face the facts, then the organization fails. And I'm assuming that that's a big part yeah. of what you're trying to solve here.